Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. We are back once again. And as you can tell from today's title, today I'm actually turning 24, um, which is closer to 30. So uh, not looking forward to that, but um, uh, it's another year, um, another year full of memories, experiences, and meeting great people. Um, so I've really enjoyed the past year. Um, and now it's time for another year of, like I said, meeting new people, new memories and stuff like that. So it's very exciting for me. Um, but firstly, before we dive into that, I just want to give a big shout out to uh, this view that we have right here. Um, this is quite a great view. So I, I might actually shoot a couple more videos here with that view because um, it's, it's kind of interesting, interesting perspective. But um, yeah, you know, uh, I just want to go over a couple of things that I'm very grateful for um, in my life um, in today's video. And I, I guess I first thing I want to start off with is the mountains of Colorado, because that is a, a big thing for me. That is one of well, it's one of the turning points um, in my life where like I really realized, you know, what makes me happy. Um, that's the reason I have tattoos of the mountains. I've got one right here. I've got another like a wolf tattoo right here. I've got a mountain on my chest and I've got coordinates to that place in Colorado on my wrist right here. Um, so yeah, you know, Colorado uh, kind of made a big impact on me. Um, so really um, what I'm grateful for with that is, is the memories that I had in Colorado going to the mountains, um, you know, the four hour road trips to, you know, Aspen, Breckenridge, those kind of places in Colorado. Um, you know, going through those mountains and going in between tunnels and like watching the blizzards and all that kind of stuff, um, really did make me happy. And I don't know, like, uh, I know I really want to go back. Um, and I can't wait for the day that I can go back. Um, but currently I'm not able to, but, uh, eventually when I do go back, I will definitely be crying in happiness, which I know a lot of you guys think that uh, <laughs> you think that uh, guys don't cry or whatever, you know, guys do cry, especially when it's, uh, it's something very close to them like that. Um, so that kind of answers some of the comments I might get. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, you know, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for, you know, like I said, all the memories that I had there. Um, the job that I had there was pretty awesome. It was a federal job. Um, I worked for the uh, TSA, so I was working at the Denver airport, you know, doing bomb searches and stuff like that. Hopefully I don't get demonetized for saying that word, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, uh, I, uh, I really enjoyed my time there. Um, and also when I was there, I enjoyed just the drive to work, the drive from work. You know, I, I moved when I was there too, so I enjoyed living in the hotel while I was there, but then I also left that hotel and I moved into an actual apartment. And that apartment was amazing, let me tell you guys. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but there's actually, there was a window. It was awesome, guys. I was on the third floor and there was a window that faced the mountains and there, it was like a, like a window here and two windows here. So kind of like a, um, I don't know if it's like a, like a hexagon, probably is a hexagon, but like half a hexagon kind of thing where you got like three windows facing just the mountains. Um, and it was awesome guys. Um, it was super, super cool, especially when the blizzard came. Um, I have a couple of videos I shot of that blizzard, but not many, just like a few seconds or a few minutes. Um, but that was pretty awesome to be able to be in your apartment and have a view like that of the mountains every single morning you wake up, um, or afternoon for me, because I typically, I, I worked like 4 AM to 1 PM shifts when I was there. But I did have a couple of days off, and those couple of days were when I was able to look at the mountains um, in the morning. But, uh, you know, the mountains made a big impact on me. Um, Colorado made a big impact on me. And uh, I never really thought when I got that job that, uh, you know, it would lead to that. You know, I never thought that when I got a job in Colorado that I would love the mountains as much as I did um, or came to, found out, came to find out that I did. Um, but with all that being said, let's go ahead and move kind of past that because I can go into a further 
in-depth video about that in the future if you guys want me to, but let's just go ahead and keep moving on in this video. Um, so I'm grateful for the people that I have met, um, you know, in the past year, um, you know, like meeting my girlfriend. Um, it's been awesome. You know, the, the last, uh, it, let's see, at the time of this recording, it's going to be almost two years. So here in about a month from this video, um, it'll be two years of dating her. And um, it's not my longest relationship, but it's uh, something that's been the most valuable to me. Um, and I've shared experiences with this person that I haven't shared with anyone else. Um, so it's been pretty special in that regard. Um, but yeah, you know, so I'm, I'm grateful that I met her. Um, most grateful that, uh, you know, I, I have, you know, a supportive family and her family supports me too. So it's like all, it's all good stuff, you know, like all good um, connections, I guess you could say. Um, Another thing that I'm grateful for is when I was working at the gas station, um, because I, as you guys probably saw from previous video or the one before that, um, about me becoming a full-time door dasher, I used to work at a gas station and I'm grateful for that company for allowing me the opportunity to work for them and to work for them in different locations because I actually transferred from one store to a different store and um, I met some great people, like some great managers and coworkers and all that. So um, that was a great experience for me. Um, and then, you know, um, something I'm grateful for also is the challenges that I've had doing schoolwork because <laughs> schoolwork is a very uh, big thing that's happening right now uh, for me. Um, I'm a junior in college and uh, I took a couple years off, so that's why I'm like turning 24 and a junior. That's why. Um, but, you know, uh, it's been fun, you know, like meeting different kinds of teachers and the content um, in the classes is very interesting to me. Um, I am studying business and that is basically because I do want to have my own business one day. Um, so that'll be awesome whenever that does happen in the future. Um, but yeah, so you know, I'm grateful for that as well. Um, and also, lastly, I am grateful for you guys um, for staying here on my channel, you know, subscribing, commenting, um, checking out the new content every single time I post something. Um, I appreciate it, guys. I really do. Um, I never really thought that I would get a, like, such a supportive community as you guys, but I am grateful for that. Um, so, once again, thank you. Um, I appreciate all the support. I know that the content on this channel is not necessarily the most entertaining. Um, but it is the most authentic and real as I can give you guys. Um, so hopefully you guys like that. You know, a little something different than what you may be used to. Um, but yeah, you know, like I, I don't know, like turning 24 kind of makes me start to feel a little bit old, but I know that I'm not old, but I feel like I'll really start kind of not liking going up in the age once I start getting closer to 30 because at that point like I need to really figure some stuff out you know like right now um, turning 24 that's not really that old so I'm able to still kind of take some risk here and there and you know like do some aggressive investing or job searching and stuff like that I'm able to try different things like that because nothing really has to be set in stone just yet um, I have quite a little bit of time um, before I have to kind of figure out what I want to do as a career. Um, but, you know, for me right now, the most important thing is going out, creating content for you guys, um, doing my schoolwork and exploring new places, you know, finding new interesting places to not only show you guys, but to, you know, just enjoy myself. Um, you know, I don't always have the camera, camera rolling um, whenever I find new places like that. I like to shut the camera off after I'm done shooting a video and just sit there or stay in there, whatever the location is, and just really take in, you know, the beauties of nature. Um, so, yeah. Um, with all that being said, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. I know that um, a lot of people may have lost interest in this video and you may not have gotten to this point in the video, but if you did, um, thank you for all the support once again. Um, and yeah, I'm still kind of cold out here shooting today's video because as you guys saw from a couple of videos ago, um, it's very cold today. So that's why I'm all layered up and everything. But um, 
yeah, turning 24 today. So if you want to wish me a happy birthday in the comments, definitely go ahead and do that. I would definitely appreciate uh, the support on that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got in today's video. So with that being said, guys, see you in the next video.